This is Samurai Warriors 5. We're on Xbox Series X. Taking a look at this rather intense, over-the-top experience that's all about slashing through hordes of enemies to accomplish objectives and missions. There is a lot of narrative to this one just in regards to different chats, different cinematics, but the most part of the experience, you, you're just like going around slashing a lot of enemies along the way and uh, taking on bosses too as the dynamic levels sort of take you off in new directions. So we're on Xbox Series X, uh, 60 FPS target, uh, pushed towards 4K resolution. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the setup here. So you can do local co-op, they also have the option for online co-op, which is kind of cool. And uh, yeah, you just do a, a bunch of different missions on this campaign, taking out different enemies in a pile of scenic locations. And you just munch through huge army selections. So I actually have a slight bit of the history with this one. I did cover whatever the last entry was on the the PS4 and it, it's pretty cool to see it uh, now available on the Xbox. So we got a, a variety of different options to kind of improve our characters and a host of different characters to play as. As you progress you get more different officer options. This seems to be the primary protagonist of the particular narrative. This particular level is uh, the battle for the Naga River which is at the end uh, of chapter one. I believe it's the end of chapter one uh, in the game story. So you should be seeing that in action here as we battle to take the different areas and push forward. So yeah, it actually does seem to run relatively smooth. The gameplay feels, you know, kind of engaging and neat. And like I said, you get like these unique abilities that you can kind of unleash upon enemies. I'm saving most of them though for when we actually have to fight something like this. You know, like an actual boss type thing. And then you get like this sort of, I guess you could say, ultra type hit thing that does like intense slash damage and just like sends people flying afterwards and it's cool animation. So the game's almost got like a bit of a, I want to say like a cell shaded esque uh, sort of animation style to it, which is sort of neat. Like, I mean, it's definitely a very different sort of looking game and, and a very different sort of playing game. But it is actually quite a, a lot of fun to play. Uh, I don't think it necessarily is too difficult, but there might be situations where you're battling some bosses where you're having, you know, some issues dealing with them, and, yeah, you know, like this thing, because they can kind of get you in these, like, really locked animations, if that makes sense, which can be a little annoying to deal with, and then you can go in the environment, and there's usually, like, food you can find, which is kind of helpful, you know, for taking on enemies and keeping yourself healed up a bit. There's also usually secondary objectives, you're always being kind of, you know, raced against the clock, but also a race against doing certain stat things in order to get, you know, more points. You get like an S rank, I think is the best one, and different stuff like that. So I guess it's been a, a seven year wait between main entries in this, this series. So this one can kind of continue those, those events. Uh, this is, I guess with this title, the historical period depicted in the first title of the series released in 2004 has been revamped here. So I guess that's the concept of what they went for, is redepicting that uh, particular era and stuff like that. And I guess for some it might be a good showcase of the evolution of the series, I suppose you could say. Just in regards to seeing how much it's improved in the visuals and, you know, having the huge array of, of enemies that kind of go on here. And, and like I said, there's a, a lot of, of narrative in this one. It can be uh, quite a lot to take in, I suppose you could say, for some folks. You might find it to be a little overwhelming in regards to the different stuff that's going on in it. But, you know, if you're really into the story of these games, I think you'll kind of find it interesting I suppose, a little bit dynamic as you take on enemies and you know kind of kill them but not really necessarily kill people I guess some people seem to escape all the time. So uh, I guess this is like a total of 27 samurai warriors join the battle for different dynamics. Officers such as the young Nobunga Oda known as the Great Fool and Daimo Oshimoto Emagawa who is known as the greatest archer in all of Kaido. And they've got new designs to match the setting and, you know, stuff like that. They seem to have, like, a bit of a, you know, I want to say a slightly cocky attitude to them as well. And there's the whole 
themes of honor and battling. It's just kind of a, you know, it's a neat title. It's, it's different. Uh, it's definitely got a lot of fun elements to it, zany over the top things. I, I mean, the game is like sort of ludicrous just in regards to the, the quantity of enemies that you're sort of dealing with. Like, this is just wild, and you're a single person out here just being like, you know, taking on crowds of enemies. I kind of waste. No, I'm not necessarily wasting it, but I'm, I'm getting those guys done there. So, the so focus on the lives of Nobunga, Oda, and Mid Mitsu Hyde, uh, Ketchi in order to more intensely and boldly depict the warrior warring states era during the end of the Onin War. After the incident of Honojo, the title is the beginning of a new series where the samurai warriors have been revamped. So that's kind of cool. You know, if you're into that sort of thing, I think we're getting a bit of a little cinematic type thing uh, going on right now, obviously. Oh, <gasps> they are outnumbered. And you can build up like a squad too. There are different mission scenarios where like basically you, you get different uh, squad mates to pair up with and you can kind of dynamically alter your squad I suppose. But yeah, it's kind of cool you know, having these different setups. Oh, I guess we are just boldly going after these guys. And then it's got like the very typical, I want to say map setup, where you're kind of just working through these woven areas in order to uh, connect and, and battle against others, complete your objectives. I, I mean like, it, it really does feel like a game of an older era, if that makes sense. Like it definitely has held true to its original roots gameplay wise, but I think it has been, you know, cleaned up a good amount. Uh, in regards to, you know, these particular options. I kind of didn't pay attention. Am I supposed to go after these leaders paired? Oh, I guess we could just go right for the leader to a degree as well here. But, but you know what I mean. Like, it, it seems to have been touched up for this era. It, it's just kind of also fun at times to clobber, you know, massive uh, army groups. Oh, wait. Are we supposed to actually, like, escape now? Oh, yeah, they always they're always switching things up on you. Defeat the troops there. See, they they always they come up with new things for you to do. You try to do your main missions, and you don't want to mess up too much. But I think there's a main enemy here. Yeah. Let's see if we can cause some problems with this boss. It's kind of wild. And you just like flow through all these enemies like they're nothing and there's like a good element of like trying to juggle enemies I think as well. And it's just kind of like almost sort of magical and silly with these abilities but that's the fun of it is just getting these like you know over top over the top elements of uh, going further than you know just what you would hear in the historical battles that like greatly over exaggerate some scenarios because I mean like you're, you're doing like intense blasts to send folks flying in that I guess we finish this guy off too so we, we beat the boss so we got some gold and stuff we need to go and uh, take out those enemies you also have a pretty cool uh, I guess you could say noble steed one might say that will hop up into battle in order to pick you up and send you flying across the battlefield. There we go, there's my noble steed, so you've got yourself a nice horse. Oh, this is not the way I want it to go. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, so this guy is part of our objective? Okay. Well, I just left my horse. Ugh. So yeah, that's kind of what this is. <laughs> I mean, like it's it's pretty straightforward. You're going around through like a, a large range of different missions, 
uh, completing your goals and your objectives and, and you're completing like finishing them and you know some of them take longer than others and there's varied combat and then when you're done you can kind of like do dojo stuff and that allows you to level up your characters improve their XP get them different weapons there's like a store thing there's a free play mode as well if you want something a little bit more open combat wise uh, you get things such as a it's like a main menu sort of battle mode, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know quite how to describe that, but, uh, you, you know, there are a, a range of different ways to kind of experience what this has to offer gameplay-wise. Constantly mixing things up for you. I'm trying to get over to my objective now. But yeah, as you can see, there's, there's lots of, lots of mayhem going on here. Just some intense stuff. I think that might actually be sort of our escape setup in this particular scenario. You also got some lovely spots too, I actually quite like some of the visuals in here. I, I don't think it's anything necessarily, you know, groundbreaking if that makes sense, but it's still, you know, kind of a cool set of scenarios, interesting battles to have, bosses to fight against, you know, targets to take out, weird missions, and they, they, they vary things, like sometimes you're like escaping an area, sometimes you're you know, defending a spot. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they come up with all these different setup scenarios just to keep things fresh so you're constantly being like, oh, there's something new to do, and yeah. I think you could play this uh, for quite a while doing the main mission stuff. Like, they definitely offer a, a lot of things, and I hope this isn't too... Like, I tried to pick, like, a level that might not be too uh, spoilerish, if that makes sense. Like, Okay, I don't think this one will ruin a whole lot of what you're kind of expecting to see out of the game. So, like, honestly, I find, like, a lot of the, the story stuff, for me, I, I have a hard time keeping up with everything. Even when I'm, like, sitting there reading and watching stuff, I'm just kind of like, huh, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> there's, like, a whole marriage thing that was happening, and it was just like, oh, wow, okay. You know, there's, there's a lot of complexity to the... The narrative experience. So we're just defeating. Oh, we gotta just defeat like a hundred troops or something like that. So that's our our main goal right now. Is just like you know, kind of cannon fodder. I mean, you can kill these guys like they're just cannon fodder or nothing. That's just our main mission, just randomly out of nowhere. I mean, we already killed the boss, so it's like you know, what else is there gonna be here? Big combo, eight hundred combo. You're, like it's literally just sending enemies flailing through the air as you cut whole hordes of them. That's that's the fun of this, right? It's just the absolute I intensity going on and all the combat and the weird over-the-top animations, the intense cinematic moments, uh, some of the story beats and all that. It's, it's cool. It's, it's, it's different, right? So we got some squads and stuff like that. We need to pass on. It's like we've got to defeat some guys here. Ah. Pretty cool, you know, very flashy. <laughs> you know, some of the visual stuff like that. I think looks cool, the particle effects, the sword cutting. It's just, it's just like a fun game. You know, like that's that's the most the gist of it is just kind of like a fun game where you'd be like, I am sending out thousands flying into the air dying. It's crazy. Let's reach the retreat point. It's what we do. We retreat. Looking good troops. Looking good. See, I like that. They got like a sort of like animated look to them, and I'm assuming that's how they're able to stack so many characters in one area. It's kind of neat. And there's a lot of exposition dumping too. You get to hear a lot of details. I mean, I kind of skipped like the the opening cinematic stuff here for filming this. I wasn't sure people would want a drop right into uh, you know sort of a casual thing, but you can see nine out of eleven objectives cleared. You get like a ranking based on what you do. S S S D A. Wow, my combo sucked. That hurts my feelings. But then you get extra range points and everything. Your other assistant people level up, and you kind of continue from there on to 
other things. And I think, yeah, the cinematic point will play here so you see a little bit of that in action. そう。よし。収める。これは近いの証だ。男と男のな。生きろよ、光秀。信長殿。どう勝たせちゃって。まあ、またな。Kind of a neat experience, very different sort of game, and I think something you might have a lot of fun with if you just want big crowds to kind of munch through and battle and slash and dice and smash and, you know, all that fun stuff.